Hello everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor, back today with another tutorial. And I thought today we'd look at creating a low poly barrel, the quickest and easiest way that I've found. So with that said, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is shift A and mesh and create a cylinder. Change the vertices to 12. Press 1, bring it up. SZ, let's make it more barrel shape and sit on the ground plane. Press the tab button. Press Ctrl R, 2 on the numpad, left click, right click. Press S to bring them out and get the barrel shape that you want. Now press the tab button, press Shift A, and we're going to create another cylinder. So bring this up, SZ to make it thinner, and this will be our bands for our barrel. Press the tab button, press Ctrl R to get another edge loop. Go to the top, click on faces and we will delete both of these faces. Highlight the whole thing, press L over it, E, enter and extrude it in. Now let's bring this down to where we want it. Let's bring it out and now finally we will click on the top vert and the bottom vert and press the S button and bring them in. Click on the whole thing, press 1, Shift D, let's bring it down, and now S to bring it out, and let's put it in the right place. One again, Shift D, should be the exactly the same size, and I'll just make this one a little, tiny little bit bigger, just like that, and then I'll press Shift D, and I'll bring this one down. Now I'll press Tab button, I'll hide the rungs, and now we'll work on our barrel. So now press the tab button, go to face select, select these two faces, press P and we're going to just separate them away. Now click on these, hide these ones and let's work on the planks. Press tab button, make sure you're in face select and let's grab all our planks, every other plank basically. Press the P button, selection and now let's join them back up. Click the first plank and the second plank, Control J. Press the tab button, highlight everything. Press the E and enter and the S button. Now come up to here and make sure this is on individual origins. Press S and you can now bring them as close in as what you want them. So once you've got them to where the gap is that you want, come back up here and click it on medium point. Press 1 on the number pad and now SZ and bring them down to the top. Now what we can do is, because it is a low poly barrel, is we can go to face select and we can get rid now of all these ones on the inside. Nobody will see these, so we won't be needing these. Press delete and faces. Now press the tab button, alt H, and let's bring in these tops back that we needed. So the first thing we'll do is we will now position these parts where we want them to go. So press tab button, Press A just to make sure everything's unselected, so double A tap and now click on this one and let's move this down to where exactly we want it and make it a little bit bigger. And now let's do the same with the bottom one, so one again, SZ, I'm just going to make that a little bit thinner and then I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to see what it's looking like on the size and I'll make it a little bit bigger like so. Now let's do the top and the bottom part. So press the tab button, hide everything except the top and the bottom of the bowl. So press H and hide everything. Now let's uh, let's work on these. So first thing we need to do is go into face mode, select both the faces, click delete and only faces. Now go into edge select, select all the faces on this one except these two, press Ctrl E, bridge edge loops and now we'll do the exact same on this one here. Ctrl E, bridge edge loops. And now let's go into face select and select every other face, like so. Press the P button, selection, and now let's join them back up with Ctrl J. Now press the A button, come up here, make sure you're on individual origins, press the S button, and now you can make them smaller to what size you want. Now come back up here, go to medium point, press the E, S, Z, and now you'll find you can bring them out or in. So let's bring them in, and now with this faces selected, 
go back to individual origins and press the S button and bring them out slightly so you won't be able to see through the barrel. Press the tab button, Alt H, click on the top and bottom faces and press tab button once more and now let's grab with the vert select all these faces here so like so and now we can just bring them down and now go to here medium point once more RZ and now we can rotate them round and make them slightly bigger. Now let's do the same with the bottom rotate round S to make bigger and now let's put them in place and there is the low poly barrel okay everyone hope that helped like and subscribe if you like this tutorial and check out my online courses below thanks a lot bye bye